Growing Up Alone, and my name is Madeline Inojosa. The Secret Garden. The Secret Garden is a novel written by Frances Hodgson Burnett, illustrated by Tasha Tudor, and was published in 1911 by F.A. Stokes, New York. This novel has at least two film adaptation, adaptations. So one was directed by Agnieszka Holland in 1993, and the other by Mark Munden, and it came out this year. The summary, the story follows a selfish, self-centered girl named Mary Lennox who lived in India with her wealthy mother. The family servants kept Mary out of sight because Mary's mother did not want to see Mary. After an ep epidemic spreads, the family servants and Mary's parents die from an illness. After moving to England with Mary's uncle Archibald Craven, who hardly stays at his estate, Mary meets the chambermaid Martha. Martha entertains Mary with stories of her family, especially stories of Martha's brother Dickon. To entertain herself, Mary walked into the gardens and found a gardener named Ben, ben Weatherstaff. Mr. Weatherstaff tells her about the secret garden that Mr. Craven has locked up for 10 years because it belonged to his late wife. With the help of a robin, Mary finds a secret garden and begins to tend to it and she begins to transform just like the garden. Mary becomes nicer and begins to control her temper. After that, Mary finds both her cousin Colin, who is Mr. Craven's son, and Dickon. Mary came to Colin's room by following a cry and found Colin confined to a room because of the supposed deformity of his spine. Mary then finds Dickon in the gardens, and he starts helping her tend to the secret garden. Some time passes, and all three children begin to tend to the garden together, and both Colin's and Mary's attitudes change, continue to change for the better. In the end, it turns out that Colin can walk because he lacks the spinal deformation. Colin's relationship with his father Betters. After discovering the state of the secret garden and the three children remain friends. Are you a ghost? After Mary has been tending to her garden, there was a night that rain came and it woke Mary from her sleep. The rain doesn't let her fall back to sleep and after some time passes, Mary realizes that the rain has stopped and that someone is crying. Mary goes in search for the crying and finds a frail, sickly boy alone in his bed that's crying because of his injured back. Mary finds out that the boy's name is Colin. He is the son of Archibald Craven, and therefore Colin is Mary's cousin. After some time, the reader can take notice that Mary and Colin had parallel childhoods. Though his father rarely saw him when he was awake, he was given all sorts of wonderful things to amuse himself with. Both Mary's and Colin's servants gave them everything they wanted and tucked them away because their parents didn't want to see them. They felt unloved by one of their parents, and their other parent was absent their whole lives. The meeting of these two characters is important because it displays the progress that Mary has made. Mary was sickly, extremely covert, and had an unchecked temper, but now she's happy, she's going out and about, and she's becoming nicer. She can relate with Colin and lead him to a better way of life. I shall live forever and ever. After meeting Colin, Mary continued to visit him and ended up slowly nursing him to health with the help of Dickon. After some time passed, Colin's progress was beginning to be noticeable and Colin craved to go outside. The children were finally able to convince Colin's doctor to let him go outside. Both Dickon and Mary take Colin to the secret garden and Mary states, he looks so strange and different because a pink glow of color had actually crept all over him. The scene was important because it starts the last transformation that Mary and Colin go on. Mary is no longer regarded as spoiled, but as someone who could potentially change Colin. Dickon's mother says that if he does live and that Indian girl stays here, I'll warrant she teaches him that the whole orange doesn't belong to him. As for Colin, he begins to not only change on the inside, but his body also begins to strengthen. By completing this transformation, relationships, people, 
and places are healed. Mr. Craven's and Colin's relationship mended after years of being apart, along with Mrs. Craven's late garden. Lastly, Mary was no longer alone. She had Dickon and his family along with Colin. Mrs. Lennox and Mr. Craven, both Mary's and Colin's parents are not part of their lives. One of their parents was not in the picture from day one and the other parent wanted to keep their child out of sight. Their lack of parents caused them to grow up bitter and unloved by those around them. For Mary, they always gave her her own way in everything because the Mem Sahib would be angry if she was disturbed by her crying. The reason for the family's servants keeping Mary out of sight was because Mrs. Lennox didn't want a child. For Colin, he states, everyone is obliged to do what pleases me. It makes me ill to be angry. No one believes I shall live to grow up. The reason for Mr. Craven keeping Colin out of sight is that Mrs. Craven died in childbirth and Mr. Craven couldn't handle looking at his son. This abandonment from both their parents led to the children being demanding and cruel to those tasked with caring for them. To make this eventuality more obvious, Burnett wrote the children to look sickly and then healthy once they healed from their feelings of abandonment and of being unloved. Mr. Ben Weatherstaff When Mary first began to go into the gardens, Mary came across a gardener named Mr. Weatherstaff. Mr. Weatherstaff's candidness upon meeting Mary made Mary actually begin to wonder if she was nasty tempered. She felt uncomfortable. In addition to helping Mary reflect, Mr. Weatherstaff presents Mary with an with a temptation to enter the secret garden. He tells Mary to not be a meddlesome wench and poke your nose where it's no cause to go. By providing a simple warning and making Mary reflect on who she is, Mr. Weatherstaff puts Mary on the path of finding herself by finding the garden. The Secret Garden. The Secret Garden presents Mary with a task of getting into the garden to see what's inside. By having this garden be off limits, it tempts Mary because she has always gotten what she wanted and she wants to get into the garden. She was able to find the garden by an act that Mary described as magical. After Mary found her robin friend, the robin led her to the garden and suddenly a gust of wind swung aside some loose ivy trails. Even though Mary went looking for the garden, when she went in, she felt as if she had found the world all her own. The secret garden was magical to Mary and her friends, and this Magic is evident when looking at the beginning and end result of the characters. The magic displayed its power as Mr. Craven stood silent as the children had done what they came into his greenness. Collins and the garden's progress brought Mr. Craven out of his gray world that Mrs. Craven's death had plunged him into. Friends the theme and moral in The Secret Garden is friendship and the power it has to change people. Readers can see that Mary and Colin are bitter before meeting each other and Dickon. Once the children meet, they help each other grow emotionally, mentally, and physically. One reason why the children can build themselves up is that an adult in the capacity of a nurse isn't capable of giving Mary or Colin what they actually need. The hired help gave the children what they wanted while the children gave themselves what they needed. The servants could not act as a mirror and encourage better behavior because they were not seen as an equal or parent figure by Mary or Colin. These children spent their days by themselves in the garden in the garden and tending to it. During this time Mary and Colin were providing an essential cure for the children's ills, friendship with people their own age. Even though Mary and Colin grew up wealthy and surrounded by adults, they had social barriers. While Dickon grew up poor, he realized he was recognized as being happy and a joy to be around by anyone who spoke of him. The difference in their situations were that Mary and Colin grew up isolated while Dickon grew up with siblings in the outdoors. After coming 
into each other's lives, Mary and Colin learned a new way of living. They learned to respect others, believe in themselves, and have the com confidence in having the ability to change. The Novel Variations The Secret Garden has various movie adaptations, and one of the adaptations even had a sequel named Back to the Secret Garden. The novel also had a television series and a musical adaptation. One movie adaptation came out in 1993 and was directed by Agnieszka Tolland. The movie did a great job in keeping the novel's integrity and was successful in the box office. Although one scene was blown out of proportion and it was the scene where Colin has his tantrum. The scene was supposed to be about Mary opening Colin's eyes to his behavior and how his illness was in his head. But the film, but in the film, its focus was on the hysterics of Colin and trying to get him to calm down. The scene was important because it cemented Colin's view of himself and the and his ability to get better. And these are the references that I used.